And as we've seen through the whole COVID situation, um, there was a shortage of nurses across New Zealand. And I think through all of this, we've seen that there's a huge shortage in New Zealand across the healthcare sector. Um, so do you, one, I think my question's twofold. Um, one, any healthcare courses apart from nursing with, uh, with Manukau Institute? Or, and the second one is, can you please talk about the Bachelors of Nursing for people that are within New Zealand um, and they may have done a Bachelors of Nursing from their home country, maybe working as a registered nurse? Um, can they get in? Is there a competency assessment program? Can you just talk through those bits for us, please? Sure. I mean, nursing is one of our, our strongest program areas. And MIT, if we're known for engineering, we have a very strong reputation around nursing. And I think nursing in New Zealand generally is a, a really important qualification because it's, it's a very, very transportable qualification. So we weren't able to offer nursing to international students for a long time because we have such significant demand domestically. But the school started opening up last year. Last year, we ran a very successful CAP program and we were able to work quite closely with the Monaco District Health Board. Um, this year, the school have come back and they've given us two dates for the competency assessment program. And those will be offered in August and October. Um, now, obviously, we think they will probably be populated by people who are onshore because mm -hmm. um, it's, we're not sure when the, the travel restrictions will lift. So there's a range of criteria that most, most students that apply for those programs know what the criteria are because they're often the same as what you would need to do to apply to the nursing council. The other criteria we sit set is that you need the IELTS, which is an IELTS, um, and you need to have achieved your IELTS in one sitting only. So we don't allow oh, clubs. You can combine yeah. them. Oh, okay. That's quite important. Now, the other thing is we don't accept applications from students on their own. Applicants for those programs must come through uh, um, an agent that works with MIT because they're complex. And um, if we work with an agent, we, we see that the, um, the application process is much more streamlined. So we don't take individual applications for that program. For nursing, we have a, a three-year Bachelor of Nursing. That's a, a standard qualification in New Zealand. Now, one of the, the school will consider students for um, RPL. But what happens is everybody has to do a competency test. So what's come back is that at the very maximum, you might get three credits towards the degree program. And that, as well as the academic assessment, it also requires the, the practical assessment. So what we're doing is you would need to get your offer in place first and then you can apply for RPL once the program has started. Um, so that's the system that we're, we're using for RPL around that program. Okay, fantastic. So, okay. So there is a possibility for those registered nurses that are in New Zealand, they've maybe practiced overseas um, to actually get back into the Bachelors of Nursing. If they haven't been able to get through the registration process or the CAP course directly, they can apply to study the Bachelors of Nursing and apply for the RPL process for a reduction in that um, duration of the course and get some credits based on that. The reduction is small, but that's I think that's a big step forward. And because Arunima will know nursing degrees are typically difficult to find, particularly yes. in Auckland. There's very few mm -hmm. providers that are offering. Um, and it's not that we don't see the value of international students because Another thing that COVID-19 has shown us is how important it is to have that, that community knowledge. And that's something that's very, very important to MIT. We see our community around us as, as really pivotal to um, what, you know, what we're doing in terms of our, our role in education. And we, we recognize our community as both um, maybe established communities and new communities, because MIT is very much in an area where we have seen a lot of growth with new communities. So we, we place a lot of value on the skill set that international students bring to the different qualifications. Okay.